Hi, and welcome to the first video of my new channel. My name is Joe Conti. Some of you may know me from Joe Conti RC, another YouTube channel I have, uh, where uh, I explain and share my uh, hobby for RC uh, cars and rock rollers. But this one will be about railway modeling. And what you are seeing here is the inside of my tiny workshop and <clears throat> and uh, the empty space in the middle where you can see the floor is going to be covered uh, with a platform for my uh, train i was thinking about n gauge or z gauge <clears throat> sorry um uh, being limited in size and the size of this platform will be uh, 70 inches from left to right and 55 inches depth um, uh, the hole in the middle here will be my manhole to be able to reach all four corners during maintenance or whenever I need to do anything. Um, um, you can imagine that there is no room for this and you'll be imagining uh, correctly. <laughs> um, uh, this cannot stay down here. Um, because I won't be able to get in for my other hobby. So the plan is this. Uh, it will be hung from the ceiling. It's a concrete ceiling. So uh, it will be hung from the, ceil from the ceiling uh, with a, uh, a rope in each corner, pulleys up in the ceiling, and it will be hoisted up. Uh, initially, I will be either pulling it manually, my hands, and um, I might also get a uh, one of those winches you find on boat trailers to pull your boat onto your trailer. They are very low geared, so uh, it's quite easy. Um, but eventually, I would like to motorize this, like everything else that you see in the garage over there. The door is motorized, there's a hoist in there. Anyway, the works. So, that is the plan. So, uh, for now, all I have done is what you can see, the, uh, the timber frame for the train layout. I need to, I'm sorry, I'm behind the camera and there's no room for me to go in there. <laughs> I have a small space about ooh, three feet by three feet here. And this is where I will be operating the train from, just near the door to this room. <laughs> Anyway, um, I need to make some timber supports from here to here, across like this, hang on, like that. And the other one over there on the other side. I will be uh, putting on half inch or 12 millimeter plywood as a surface. And I will cut out the manhole for the reason I told you before. Um, before I put the uh, the plywood on however i would like to uh, frame it for scenery because think about this now once i close this up i cannot get behind there or there <laughs> it's crazy if or here you know what i mean or here down, down down this side i can't get there so i need to do the uh the plywood in the back, I was going to use quarter inch plywood. Uh, I was going to frame it with quarter, quarter inch plywood up to an area here where I would be controlling it. I don't want to block my vision. And, uh, and the height of it uh, is going to be, I think, about 12 inches. And the reason why I came to a, a decision about 12 inches, because Standing in this room, the space between the top of my head and the ceiling is 18 inches. And uh, so the 12 inches will be from the, from the, let me show you down here where you can see my hand, from the underside of the frame coming up like this, 12 inches. So when I hoist it, uh, it will go flat to the ceiling and whatever I build on the layout um, can never be higher than 
the surrounding perimeter, the scenery wall. So that will guide me to keep it below a certain height. And uh, that way when I hoist it, I don't have to worry about squashing or breaking anything on the ceiling. Obviously the light in the ceiling would have to be relocated, but that's, that's uh, not a big job. Um, uh, so, until now, till now, uh, this is all I have. Uh, the plan, today is Sunday, I cannot go shopping anywhere. Um, the plan, hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday, is to get some plywood for the surrounding scenery to start that off. And also uh, get the 12 mil plywood for the, for the layout, for the surface. And once I have done that, um, I will be ready to start uh, planning a layout, the, the railway or whatever you want to call it. I'm still new to this. The terminology isn't all that great with me. Anyway, but, but, but before any of this happens, today I need to make sure that where this frame is, it's in the right place because I have to take a plumb line from the ceiling to each corner to the location where I will be installing or fitting um, an eyeball. I don't know what you call it in English. Anyway, uh, uh, like an enclosed hook for the rope to be tied onto. And uh, I need to drill and uh, do the the hoisting mechanism, whether it's manual or, or whatever, today, before I start any of the wood I mentioned before. Again, because if I do any of the wood, I cannot get in there. If I do the surrounding wall, it's, it's blocking my way. At the moment, the only way I can work is going through all these holes you see in the, uh, in, in, in the framework. Okay, so I'm gonna take the camera up in my hand. I'm gonna go through the holes. And I gotta show you roughly what I'm planning to do with, with, the, with the hoist. Hold on tight, I'm gonna move you. Here I am inside my frame. At the moment, I don't have enough timber again. Uh, those are the temporary legs I am using to elevate this over my vise because the frame went over my workbench so I can gain as much space pos as possible. I can't go any further because I will hit that shelf. So I put this wood here to get a rough estimate where the shelf extends compared to the frame. So I have about an inch, just over an inch there. It will be, uh, I won't have long days here. It will be resting on the other bench here because we're in a corner all right that's my soldering station and this is my do it all station here and um, so i will have a leg here a support there of course a support another one here that's my garage in there um hello rough and uh, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and as you can see the car park here will slightly on the wall there so I cleared, my God, I cleared that one too. So, and that's my other leg there. The legs are 115 centimeters long, plus the thickness of the frame, and another uh, 12 mil for the, uh, uh, for the surface. <clears throat> so this will be my platform height. I am currently chest level and I like that because when I when I see something scale I want to uh, see it eye level as much as possible I don't want to look down on it I want to see it like it's real so being able to to see it from this height especially sitting on my chair at that height would be perfect so <clears throat> these are the corners and I will be drilling somewhere up there. I can't imagine the mess I'm gonna make over everything. <laughs> and there's another one here, another corner here. 
up there, and of course the other two corners, one there, to go up there, I'm sorry for all the movement, uh, and the other one there, to go all the way up there, like I said, that flight will go. Um, uh, <clears throat> eventually the hoist will fit somewhere, uh, maybe uh, a few inches forward from that air conditioner there. So there'll be enough rope for it to, to wind up. I have no idea how it's going to work yet or what motor or anything, but that is the plan. So for now I'm going to stop here and I will uh, update this video um, when I've done the, uh, the, the pulleys up in the ceiling and maybe starting of the, the scenery surround wall. Okay, platform is ready. I've uh, just finished putting up the scenery wall all the way around. I left the gap here where I will be standing. I made this uh, 12 inches high, but 12 inches from the bottom of the frame. So it's about 10, 10 and a half inches. I believe that will do. Um, I have my manhole here. Uh, I still need to um, fasten or screw down the, the surface because if I screw this in, I wouldn't be able to go around and put up the parameter. So and for the time being, I'm going to leave it like this because access is very restricted. Anyway, um, all I have left besides screwing this in is to put some uh, supports in the middle here under this because there's no support here and under the other long one there along that side that and it's done as a as a platform I left a little gap all the way around which I will fill with gravel and whatever comes in handy I didn't want to work exactly to the exact millimeter I just left some slack this was a mistake, but I'll split the difference. It's okay. Now, this goes up and down. It's crazy, yes, but it does it. And here are the ropes. They go up to the ceiling in each corner. This one comes here. Again, sorry for all this movement. In that corner, they line here. And in the other corner, then, whoops. From the other corner there to here and they all need here and then I pull them over down this wall with that and I found it real good it's not exactly light but uh, it's not exactly heavy either I mean it's, it's easy to wind on, on the winch but one day I will motorize it, just for the fun of it. Anyway, that said, this is this part. Part one is ready, episode one. And my next video, I will start laying down track. So, until then, thanks for watching.